Hey Virgo, what's going on? Happy birthday to you guys. It's your girl D here with 8th House Energy and I am here to bring you your September 2021 Silent Enemies reading. Um, welcome back to those who are uh, continually supporting the channel and thank you for all that you do. That fly earth energy that you bring is so Virgolicious. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For those who are new, welcome. Uh, this is a Silent Enemies reading. And uh, this is a reading where I'm going to be channeling messages off of um, a couple of cards uh, that are going to put you in position where, you know, if your intuition is giving you nudges about the people around you, that, you know, um, you can compare what I'm getting here to those intuitive nudges you're getting. And then it will help you to, uh, you know, see things a little bit differently or maybe clearly or give you a different perspective or give you some insight so that you're able to make the best decisions for you in reference to guarding yourself against people, places, and things that uh, don't have uh, your best interest. Uh, you know, the way things are set up on a universal level is, you know, the universe puts people in our lives to teach us lessons. And sometimes those lessons can get a bit dangerous if we ignore our intuitive energies related to those lessons. And the thing that we have to remember and the thing that we need to understand on this spiritual journey is that the lessons are going to come from family members, friends, people who are close to us, okay? Those lessons are going to come from there, as well as, you know, the deceit, the betrayal, the jealousy, the envy. Those are going to come from people closest to us as well. Yeah, it can come from people who don't know you too well, but as far as you for succumbing to those energies, usually it's, you know, the people closest to you who have the most access to you who put you in a state of vulnerability, so it's just very important that you pay attention to your intuitive nudges. You know, the 3D realm will tell us, oh, don't worry about it. That's your family. That's your, you know, blood sticker than water or, you know, or, you, you know, that's your husband or that's your wife or that's your kid. But the universe or realm is like, I'm putting these people in your life to teach you specific lessons about yourself. <clears throat> and if you don't listen and take heed, you know, sometimes these lessons can end, you know, in a, in a result, it could be tragic for us. So this is just, you know, to put you in a position or perspective to pay attention to your intuition, okay? So I'm going to put three cards out, and I'm going to take a look at the energies. I'm going to channel what I get from them, and then um, what we'll do is we'll go into the extended, and we'll pull some clarifiers to see if there's any additional messages Spirit wants you to know uh, in reference to these circumstances and situations. So the link to the extended will be in the box below. You know, you have two different ways to check this information out. You can do it via the monthly subscription rate, which is five bucks a month, where you'll have access to uh, unlimited access to all 12 signs for all readings that I post and do extensive in extensions to. Or if you just want to check out this one reading and check out the one video for the extended and you don't want to be uh, attached to a monthly uh, membership, that option is below as well. So let's see what we got here for Virgo. Hope you guys are having a good birthday. Hopefully you did something fun and you had a good time. All right. So we got the three cards out. So we have the seven of inspirations. Okay. That's the first card. The second card is the queen of emotions. She came out in reverse. The third card is the ace of emotions. Okay, so the energies that we're looking at is Cancerian, Scorpio Cancerian, and Pisces, and we're also looking at Leo energy, okay? So those are the energies associated with these cards. Um, so I'm going to read, get, channel each one separately, but just keep in mind, sometimes your situation may combine both energies or all three energies in a certain way because I'm reading for a collective. Uh, that can occur, so just take what resonates, leave the rest. Do not try to make this fit. If it does not resonate with you, you can check your other placements. Um, if this is not a style of reading you prefer, simply check uh, the different types of readings that are offered. There's other types offered on the channel. All right, we're going to reserve the, um, the comment section for those who resonate with what is being said. Any other comments um, are basically going to be um, disregarded and or ignored because this is a safe place here where people can come and leave their comments. And if people can't talk about their situation with other people, at least they can come and do it here in this comment section. So 
you know, I reserve the right to, you know, discriminate, <laughs> however you want to word it, or to um, use discernment in allowing certain comments to be posted versus not, okay? This Seven of Inspiration video here, this is showing up as a silent enemy because I feel like for some of you, you know, you may be in a situation where people are, are, are questioning what it is that you're doing, why you're doing what you're doing. Um, I feel like with the wand energy, the wand is your passions, your, your spirit. What makes you truly you? What, what lights the fire up underneath you? What really gets you going? And I feel like there are people around you, you know, family members, close friends, lovers, uh, colleagues, business colleagues, you know, uh, people you work with. Whoever's in your energy that you deal with on a regular basis, I feel that, you know, there could be multiple people who may be, you know, questioning what your desires are or, you know, questioning it in a sense where it's like they don't approve of it, where it's like, you know, if they don't have to. For some of you, they don't have to. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's based on what you want. But I feel like some of, some people may feel like they have an input or a say in your world. And it could be because... Maybe they see you doing things that they may feel uh, put you in jeopardy or it could be the opposite. Maybe, you know, these people are jealous or envious of you and um, they may not want to see you succeed. So they could be trying to attack, you know, what that fire in you. You know, when you stand up for yourself, some people, you know, they may not like that. And I feel like you may be taking a stand against a, a few people and you're saying, I feel the energy of um, enough's enough. I've had enough. Um. If you're not doing that, I feel that could be detrimental to you because I feel like you may be in a position where everybody's coming at you. I feel the energy also of you not saying no. Learning, You have to learn to say no. You have to learn to use discernment. I feel that you have different people coming at you from different angles. you know. Um, and I feel it's because they feel comfortable doing so because maybe they've been doing it for a while. And it's just like to the point now where you're going to have to stand your ground. Uh, because it's going to be detrimental to you if you do not. Like, you can't be everything for everybody. And I feel like that's what's going on. And I feel like you being everything from ev for everybody is putting you in a position now where because you're so giving. You know, Virgo's the energy of service, right? So it's like you want to help, okay? That's just who you are. Or you will help. When somebody else won't, you will, you know? And I feel like people see that, people closest to you, they see that and they notice about you. And I feel like a lot of people are taking you for granted because you're not standing your ground with these people because these are people you love or you care about. And so you're like, okay, I'll do anything for them. You know, it could be family members, it could be adult children, it could be your lover. It's like, yeah, these are my people, I'll do anything for them. But I feel like everybody's reaching for you at once and I feel like it's just, it's, it's going to become, a, um, it's, it's, it's starting to become too much. Is what I'm feeling. So, you know, you may be in a position where you're going to have to put your foot down. You know, whether you want to or not, you may have to do so. Um, you know, if this is a work environment, it's the same thing. It's like you're trying to be there for everybody. Like if you're in middle management, you have people that answer to you. And then you have people that you have to answer to. And I feel like you may be caught in the middle between both. Trying to make sure that your employees, those who answer to you, have what they need. And they're getting what they need. And you're being fair to them. And... You know, um, all those things that come with being a boss and managing people. I don't feel you have an issue doing your job. I feel like there's an issue with people and managing people. And you, you know, being a people pleaser or, you know, not reprimanding people in, in the manner in which they need to be where they could be taking advantage of the situation or of your kindness, you know. Um, so I feel like if you don't stand your ground with these people, you know, you're going to constantly just be in situations where people are just going to be taking from you. And um, you don't deserve that because you, like I said, you're a sign of service. You're a sign of giving. You know, today is uh, Labor Day. You know, it, it, it's no mistake that Labor Day is in Virgo season. Labor Day is a celebration of those who serve others, public servants, you know. People who serve people in every area of their, you know, of, of the work industry, of the jobs that we do. You know, whether you're nurses, whether you're doctors, whether you are custodial workers, whether you are customer service oriented people, whether you're police officers, um, whether you are people in uh, office. You know, these people are, the, the whole purpose of their job is to serve the community. 
And so I feel like even in a, in a broader sense, those areas are being really um, tried and tested and pulled based on, you know, what's going on planetary wide. You know, the service people are the backbone of of our society in reference to, you know, how we make money, how we move about, how we, you know, everybody from the bus driver to the um, the uh, the gentleman who or the gentleman or the ladies who pick up the trash, you know, um, to the taxi cab driver. Uh, I mean, it goes on and on. This is a day to celebrate them, you know, and the people who give service. So, you know, I'll wrap that up and just say, you know, you just need to be careful not to stretch yourself too thin. You need to, um, I feel like if it's not internal, if this is not external to you, then it's something going on internally where you are getting to the point where you're realizing you can't be everywhere and do everything. And that could, you know, backfire on you. So be careful. Um, with this queen of emotions, energy in reverse, this is, like I said, this is like, like a Cancerian energy. Um, you have to be careful you have to use your intuition. I feel like you're not using your intuition. And that's the whole purpose of this reading, is to get you to use your intuition in reference to the people closest to you. I feel like you don't use your intuition with the people closest to you, and that could be a detriment to you. Because I feel like, you know, you're dealing with people who could be emotionally needy, you know, and it's only because they know that you'll do it for them. So say you have a adult child, right, and, you know, maybe they need something from you. And anytime they need something from you, they already know. Mom got it. Dad got it. Auntie got it. Grandma got it. I know if I need anything, I can go to them. Well, it could be to the point where they could be emotionally manipulating you. You know, when you say no or if you don't have it or if you're questioning and using discernment in reference to if you should help them or not. And I feel like, you know, there could be backlash as a result of that. And I feel like for some of you, you know... You got to be careful your family, friends, and your close people just taking advantage of you. Period. Some of you on a flip end, um, you may be interacting in, um, you know, on, uh, on another note, you may be interacting in a way that may put you in a position where you are, um, especially in the dating scene, uh, some of you are coming off as emotionally needy. You need to be very careful that you don't come off in that manner uh, because people will, you know, see that, okay, like that sucker for love syndrome where, you know, you're looking for love in all the wrong places. Well, you're going to run into those wrong places with the people closest to you, unfortunately, because or with people that you're dating specifically, you know, you got to be careful. Don't put yourself out there where people can emotionally take advantage of you and use you because you want to please them or because you know, of your kind giving nature. And people see that and they'll take advantage of it. Some of you also, as a result of you, you know, stretching yourself too thin, trying to do everything for everybody, and now you're trying to pull back. Some of you could be going through, a, you know, nervous breakdown, having emotional issues. And you got to be careful, Virgo, because you know, you know, you guys, you worry too much, it can affect your health. Okay, you guys rule the house of health. You know, uh, you rule the stomach area, the intestines. So a lot of you, you know, when things happen, stressed out situations, you know, your stomach will bother you. You know, um, so you got to be careful, okay, with what you're doing and who you're doing it with and just basically stretching yourself too thin. I see that a lot with these two cards here. Also, some of you on the flip side, you need to be careful about being um, manipulative, you know, um, some of you may be getting frustrated with people and you're deciding to just give them a taste of their own medicine. <laughs> and I can understand that, but instead just have a conversation with them and just be like, look, this is this is where I draw the line and this is why. Instead of, you know, you're like, you know what, okay, they keep taking advantage of me, this is what I'm going to do. You know, and playing the game back and forth. That's going to be dangerous for you. Some of you need a vacation, on another note. Some of you need a vacation. Some of you do work in the service industry and you're overwhelmed. Um, whether you are a doctor, whether you uh, work in, um, whether you, anything that you do where you're providing a service. I feel like some of you need a vacation. Some of you need to take some time off, okay? And um, you really need to focus on you, rejuvenating your spirit, rejuvenating your energy, okay? Because I feel like some of you are right on the edge of like, oh, okay, I need, yeah, I need a vacation. This is too much. I'm becoming stressed out. You know, um, I don't enjoy what I'm doing. 
Uh, I feel like everybody's pulling at me. So some of you need to take a break. You need to take a vacation. So hopefully you're off today <laughs> with Labor Day. Hopefully you're off. Shout out to the mailmen, the banks, all of those people, everybody who does all of that for us. You know what I'm saying? Like, we can't ignore that because a lot of us wouldn't have the things we have and be in a position we were in if it wasn't for the service-oriented industry. Okay? No matter what country. So the last card here is the Ace of Emotions. So that's the Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. Why would this show up as a silent enemy? I feel like for some of you, you need to be careful because Mercury is your ruling planet and it is going in retrograde at the end of the month. So we're going to start feeling these energies. Um, some of us may feel it a little bit later as far as the pre-shadow period, but you could very well be feeling it now. Um, so there could be somebody who's coming back around, maybe somebody that you dealt with in the past and you no longer deal with this person. But I do feel that this person... Uh, it's coming back around, but they don't have good intentions. So be careful. It could have been a family member that you stopped dealing with. It could have been an ex-lover. Ex could have been an ex-friend. You know, um, but it was somebody you cared about. They're coming back around, or they could possibly be coming back around, but they don't have good intention. Okay? Just keep that in mind. For others of you, you know, there could be some issues going on. Some of you, you know, you got to be careful with this person coming back around because you could very well get pregnant, or you could very well get this person pregnant. And you may think that they changed and then after, you know, you get all into it and you get pregnant or get pregnant or get them pregnant, you find out that they have not. And now you're stuck with this person on a level in which you would not have been had you been, you know, cautious and used discernment in reference to them coming back towards you. So please be careful. Some of you, again, you need to take care of yourselves. You need to take a vacation. You need to do things for you. Um... Some of you need to, uh, I would recommend going to the doctor. You know, some of you need to get your heart checked. Some of you may have high blood pressure, hypertension. You may not realize it. Um, it could be because of the stress that you're under. So some of you just need to go get a routine physical. I don't see any serious health issues right now, but I do see that it could escalate if you don't, A, take a vacation, or B, just go get your yearly checkup. All right? So that's what I got for you, Virgo. Um, I'm going to go to the extended and I'm going to pull about four cards for each of these just to see what additional messages spirit has for you. Um, and then we'll pull some Oracle for advice. So if this resonated in any way, shape or form with you or someone, you know, feel free to click the like button. And if you want to leave a comment about it, please do so. Virgo, please keep in mind that I do have a promotion going on with the readings. Uh, if you look in the box below the description box below this video, uh, there's five tarot card readings that I offer. Numbers two, three, and four are going to be 50% off for you. If you have Virgo placements of the North Node, the Ascending sign or your Rising sign, your Sun, your Moon, or your um, Venus in Virgo, okay? So if you guys need a read, you know, this is a great way for you to get things 50% off. Um, there's also a promo going on for Labor Day until Sunday where you just, if you have a general question and you just want to, you know, a basic answer with very little in-depth information, you know, I'm offering one question for $10. You can ask as many questions as you want. Um, the information for that is in the community section. So check that out if you're interested in just some, you know, you don't have anything too heavy, but you do have something that you're concerned about and you just want to confirm if you should go into it or not, if you should do it or not, or what the, op you know, what the options would be if you decided to go that route. Take advantage of the promos, okay? So with that being said, we'll go to the extended the links in the box below. Hopefully I'll see you there. If not, I'll see you in the next reading. And happy birthday, all right? Take care.